Hey guys, what's up? It's AppCritics from AppCritics.com. In this video, I'm going to be talking about WatchOS 7 and what we have to expect for WatchOS 7 when it will be announced at WWDC uh, in June 2020. Uh, so I'm super excited for WatchOS 7. We'll be able to get our hands on the first beta. And with that beta, we'll be able to dive deeper in what has changed. Uh, and I'll also have a video on my channel. But this is just going to be purely uh, all the rumors for WatchOS 7 and why you should be excited about WatchOS 7. So to start off the preview, once again, we'll be coming at WWDC. WDC in June, and then the official release will be later this year. Now, the first new feature that will be in WatchOS 7 will be the sleep tracking feature. So it will give you a custom sleep goal in the health app, and then new sleep app will also be expected. So this was based off of leaked iOS 14 codes that was confirmed by many sources uh, that will say that uh, it will have a new custom sleep goal in the Apple Health app on the iPhone for the purpose of improving your sleep duration and quality. Uh, so a new sleep app actually leaked last autumn, and it had a sleep tracking feature called time in bed tracking. And now at this time, the report said this sleep tracking feature would also be able to monitor sleep quality via sensors in the Apple Watch. So there's going to be sensors to monitor your sleep quality uh, that's based in the Apple Watch. And it will also be able to log a user's movement, heart rate, noise, and then all that data will be delivered into the health app and made available in the new sleep app for the watch. Now, the sleep app is supposed to serve up uh, an overview of sleep patterns with bedtime reminders when it releases a time in bed feature and a new watch face might also become available. Originally, the Apple Watch was supposed to have all this rolled out by 2020, but that definitely did get delayed. Uh, so we are also expecting some new watch faces. Uh, so that can be uh, almost confirmed that there will be some new watch faces. Now, some other new watch faces include a new infograph uh, face, which includes a tachymeter uh, feature. So that will uh, be called the Infograph Pro uh, watch face. And this watch face is made to measure speed and distance uh, based on travel time. So it's typically an analog watch feature. So it'll be interesting to see if Apple really brings it to the Apple Watch. Now, some other watch faces include an international watch face. So you could set your flag as your watch face and it might not be able to tell time, but it will just have a uh, international watch face that has your uh, custom flag for the country that you're in. And now there's also going to be a photos watch face. So you can create custom watch faces based on your photos. So you can just set individual photos uh, for your albums. Now there's the ability to share watch faces. So you could share watch faces with friends and sharing is done with uh, the Apple Watch. So there'll just be some easy direct sharing for the Apple Watch. Now some other features include uh, the parental controls and school time. So you can set up and manage Apple Watches for kids and a school time feature will let you limit phone use uh, during your school time. So that's good for parents who want to uh, make sure that their kids are staying on task uh, and not always on their phones. So you can limit their phone use and they can just use their Apple Watch more. So that is another new feature that is going to be in WatchOS 7. Now another one will be blood oxygen level detection so Apple Watch will be able to detect blood oxygen levels and this might be an exclusive feature to watch series 6 uh, so that will the, be the only reason why you get the watch series 6 uh, for that specific uh, blood oxygen level detection feature now another one will be some control center toggles uh, so control center will now have a new sleep mode toggle uh, that will be coming uh, and noise detection toggle as well uh, so those are basically uh, all of the new features all the new watch faces and all just the excited reasons why we should be uh, super excited for the watch os 7 so it's going to have a lot of great features uh, and that sleep mode will be very key for people who want to track their sleep a lot better I, and i know that there's a lot of sleep apps but when apple has time uh, to uh, advocate to certain uh, things they want to have on their apple products they always do a good job with it even if they already have present competition uh, so that is what we should expect for watch os 7. So I hope you thoroughly enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to smash that subscribe button. It really helps this channel out and will allow a lot of other uh, like-minded Apple individuals and we can all share the same interests of Apple products. Also be sure to uh, like this video uh, as that also will help out the YouTube algorithm. Also be sure to smash the like button so more people can see this video and be sure to comment down below on what you think of the Apple Watch OS 7 and if you're excited. Also be sure to uh, check out the playlist down below as I have all the latest Apple Watch software uh, videos uh, if you click on that playlist and then you can just keep uh, binge watching my videos. Uh, and I also have uh, AppleCritics.com. Be sure to check out AppleCritics.com for a lot of good written uh, posts about Apple products uh, and everything of that nature. 
And be sure to follow me on social media. I have a Facebook, a Twitter, and an Instagram. And my username there is Apple Critics. And once again, subscribe for more great content. And thanks for watching. Thank you.